Girl, if you're a plus size girl, I'm gonna make dating 10 times easier for you. Now, as a dating coach for 15 years and as your fairy godbrother, I'm gonna put you on game because a third of my clients are plus size and they get amazing results because we check for the guys that are checking for us. So I'm gonna share with you the guys that are checking for you so that you can hyper-focus on them and get your guy. So the first set of guys that I want you to really focus on are the bodybuilders. And I'm not talking about the guys that go to the gym one, two, three times a week. I'm talking about the guys that go every day or twice a day, like the stretch guys. Yeah, the guys that are taking a ton of anabolic steroids to achieve. Because make no mistake about it, if somebody's bodybuilding, that's a very particular thing that they're doing. They're probably taking a lot of drugs, which I've, I've heard this. I've heard this a lot, which is that plus size women are very desirable to bodybuilders or guys or gym bros or whatever. And I don't think it's true. I don't know if that's like accurate, dude. I know a lot of guys that go to the gym consistently, like more than five times a week. And none of those guys ever want women that are, you know, bigger than them. Usually these guys are pretty stacked. They have good amounts of muscle bellies. I mean, I, I mean, I know a few guys right now at the top of my head that are very desirable in the sense of like what they look like, very attractive men, uh, maybe a little bit shorter, but overall very attractive, very beautiful, nice jawlines, nice pectoral muscles, nice triceps, you know, nice traps, good looking um, black men. And they have no issue getting any girl they want because they're also very successful in usually every other aspect of their life. So I don't know to what degree this is true. Maybe somebody can let me know down below if you are like a bodybuilder, you have experience in this. Why would you ever want to go with somebody that is obese or plus size? It doesn't, make, it doesn't make any sense to me. Like if you're somebody that's going to the gym and you're working out and you're relatively healthy, odds are you probably don't want to be with somebody that has all of those things that are reverse of that. Now, don't get me wrong. If a person is taking anabolics and they're trying to like achieve a lot of muscle mass, odds are that person is not healthy because they're doing something in general that is not healthy taking drugs like that is not going to be beneficial for a long-term health now it might be okay if you want to do it for a short a short term uh of your life so like maybe a year you're you're taking some tremboloni or something like that but uh Overall, if a guy's like a bodybuilder, odds are that guy's probably not very healthy. But if he's just a guy that's going to the gym and maybe this guy has a really, really weird definition of what a bodybuilder is, um, maybe like a very general idea of what a bodybuilder is, they're probably pretty healthy. And I don't know why you would ever want to be with somebody that's just the complete opposite of what you are. But anyway, we'll hear him out. Um, I also think it's probably a good idea, though, to look for guys that are looking for you. That's obvious what you should be doing. Most people are not going to be attracted to you if you're plus size, which is something I think this guy should probably start off with. Just saying, like, in general, if you're plus size, the pool of men or the pool of people that are trying to date you are going to be severely diminished because you're big. Yeah, those guys are into you. If I were you, girl, I would go to a bodybuilding competition. But, like, why, though? Can you explain why they would be into us? Like, you can't just say they are into you and then just leave it there. I need to know why they're into me. Pretend I'm lost, and all of them are going to pick you up. They love you. Why? I don't know, girl. I think maybe they want to do sets with you at home. Uh, for them... What? <laughs> What, dude? And so they want they want a big girl because they can work you out at the crib? What are you talking about, bro? Lifting lifting up, like if you're deadlifting 400 pounds, that's going to be a lot different than lifting a woman that's 400 pounds because the weight is not going to be properly distributed. Maybe you got more weight on this side. Maybe you got more weight on that side. Maybe the back is big as hell. Who knows, right? When you're deadlifting, the weight is equally distributed. Uh, but not the same. I, I, like, I don't even understand this logical point. Like, yeah, the, I want a fat girl because I want to like lift her up when I get home, bro. You got weight at the gym. You're good. Bigger, the better. They're trying to get as big as possible. They want you as big as possible. I, why though? That doesn't. Th there's two different types of big. If you're a guy that's lifting a, a lot of weight and you're trying to get muscle, big muscle, and then a woman is just eating a lot of food and she's getting a lot of fat, like those are two different things. At least the muscle is going to be tremendously beneficial on you, right? At least it looks good. It's more visually appealing compared to fat, and it's also probably going to benefit you in the sense of like you're probably stronger. And then there's being fat which is literally just a detriment like it's just the the earth is just pushing down upon you at an increased rate and it's just like nothing good about it <laughs> okay another set of guys Black. Yeah, so we're not even so we're not even going to why like why are these bodybuilders why why do they want fat, plus size women why the better they're trying to get as big as possible they want you as big as possible okay another set of guys black and brown guys <laughs> yeah oh yeah bro Okay, bro. Uh, black guys get a lot. Black guys get a lot of backlash on this one, dude. I, I've heard the stereotype a lot, bro. Where black dudes love plus size, especially plus size um 
white women, snow bunnies, I've heard this consistently. Uh, black dudes just be sitting there licking their lips, rubbing their hands together, um, and just sitting there going, damn, man, I really love me a plus-size girly, dog. A girl that's big, a girl that's voluptuous and shit like that. A girl that can't, a, a girl that can't even talk without food being her mouth. Like I've heard, I've heard that before. I don't think it's, I don't know if it's true. I, I, I mean, I've heard, I've heard of it multiple, multiple times. One thing I do know when it comes to racial stereotypes about black guys is they love sucking toes. I don't know what it is. I don't know where this came from. I have no idea. The amount of times that I've been reconfirmed on that bias, I wasn't even looking for it. Like we've been watching Pop the Balloon on this channel when we do live streams and. I've seen on this show. If you guys don't know, Pop the Balloon is just like black dating show on YouTube, right? Um, the amount of men that come out and they go, I need a woman with nice toes. I love I love toes. Toes are my favorite. If a woman don't got good feet, then I can't fuck with her. I see this consistently. More than just one time, too. I see. I think I've seen it probably five or six times on that show. And you're thinking, how, does, like, how, how is this so true? How is it so true that so many black dudes love just rubbing the BBQ sauce, the sweet baby rays right across the toes, the hot sauce, man, the the the, the red hots, right? Um, and they're just <laughs> sucking on women's toes. I don't know. I, I don't know why that's the case, bro. Um, personally speaking, I'm not black. I don't like sucking toes. So I don't really know why it's like that. But I don't know also if, if it's true if black guys just necessarily like bigger women. I don't know why that would be the case. I, I mean, I've heard this several, several, several times. Maybe you can let me know down below why black guys like bigger women. I don't know. I, I mean, is it true? Is it not true? <laughs> let me know. But uh, yeah, definitely, you know, go for black guys, I guess, because they like fatter women. I don't know if this is like a good stereotype or not. Possible they want you as big as possible, okay? Another set of guys, black and brown guys. What are brown guys? Like light skins? Like Latinos, meaning Hispanic. Okay. Bro, they live for it. I'm not gonna go into a lot of. But why though? Like, why aren't you gonna go into a lot of detail, bro? Cause he knows, he knows it is a little touch and go. He might be one of those black guys that says like, oh no, you know, we can't, you know, white people can't be sorry, black people can't be racist because they're they're not in a position of power. Suck me off. Anybody can be racist. So if this guy says he's obviously saying something pretty, uh, it's teetering. It's teetering. He's not saying necessarily anything that's super racist. A little bit racist, but it's teetering a little bit. Um, he knows he's on. He knows he's on a thin line, but. It's, you know, I, I've, heard, I've heard of this before, so I see where he's coming from. I'm not going to say he's racist, but... The detail, because it gets racial. True. I mean, you're already... Hey, listen, the what you just said right there was racial. So I don't know why you wouldn't go into more detail about that. You've already, you've already, you know, put your toe in the water. You might as well jump in, dude. Tell us why. Tell us why these black dudes love BBWs. Tell us why, man. Why these Latinos are sitting there trying to get some hot sauce on these women's toes. Let us know, bro. <laughs> and I don't want to get canceled, but I will tell you. What a pussy, bro. What an absolute fucking bitch, dude. Listen, if you're going to say what you just said and not double down or at least not go into why that's the case, then you're a bitch. Why even bother saying it if you're not going to go into it, bro? What an absolute pussy, man. Look, I don't know the reason why so many black dudes like bbws i don't even know if that's necessarily true all the black dudes i know refuse to date bigger women i know a lot of black dudes that refuse to date blacker women though i've seen that copious amounts of time nah man i'll fuck with black girls because they do too much dog yeah man i fuck i fuck with white girls only white girls man snow bunnies all day they easy and that's the reason why most of these black dudes find it a lot easier to date women that are whiter because a lot of these white women just feel bad for black guys i've seen it copious amounts of times where white women will hit up these dudes. I even seen the DMs where they go, oh my God, like you're probably like so oppressed in America. Um, you know, I, I know about what happened with George Floyd. I know what happened with this, this and this or whatever. And I asked my friends like, well, how do you feel about this? And they go, if she want to suck dick, then she could suck dick. And I'm like, okay, yeah. But like, what about how she thinks you're oppressed and stuff like that? And he's like, whatever, bro. If, if she just wants to suck me up, if she wants to gobble swab my shit, whatever. So I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know a lot of black dudes that sit there and like talk about how oppressed they are. Most of the black dudes I know are just like trying to just grind their shit out. But regardless, a lot of black dudes I know will shit on black women. There is a stereotype with black women being loud and uh, masculine and all this other stuff. I've dated only black women in my life. I've never really had that be a thing. So I don't know. Like, I understand the stereotype. I really do. But um, it's not true. Like, there there are masculine black women. And I'm sure there might be more masculine, masculine black women compared to other races. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I personally love women that are very, very aggressive. But 
regardless of that, uh, I just think it's a bitch tactic to sit there and tell people that you're not going to talk about that, even though you brought it up. It's a bitch shit. Traditionally speaking, show some backbone. Anthropologically speaking, the bigger a woman is, the richer and the wealthier that she is. Bro, are you trying to, what are you trying to say right now? What are you implying with that? Are you implying that black men and Latinos are really impoverished so they got to find a fat woman to like hold them down because they got financial <laughs> ability? Why are we like lumping black guys into like poor categories because they're black? God damn, bro. You might as well. You should have just said what you were going to say instead of saying this. This is really harsh. Are all black dudes just poor? Okay. Now. Another set of guys that I want you to focus uh, on. Dude, you can't just say all that. You, you literally just said some straight out racist shit. Now, granted, you didn't say it directly, but you implied it, which is actually probably worse. So I would really need to know, bro. Are black dudes just poor? Because is that the reason, dude? And by the way, can you imagine telling women, hey, listen, I know you got a lot of problems finding men to date and stuff like that. You're fat as fuck. You're big back. You got diabetes in your toes. You got bunions on, your, on the back of your neck. Find you, find you a black man. Find you a black guy that doesn't really care about what you look like because you got money. If you can eat a lot, odds are you can probably sustain this guy, right? So this is what you got to do. You're going to have to find a black dude that don't give a fuck about you, got no standards, and he's just trying to find somebody that's going to be a mother to him, basically. That's what you're going to have to do. There's no other doubt. That's fucked up, bro. That's really fucked up on both sides. So not only are you throwing black guys and Latinos under the bus by saying that they're poor as fuck and they got no standards, <laughs> they got no standards, and they sit there and they'll take whatever they can get because they can't, they don't have any options, but then you're also shitting on big women because you're implying that they can't get regular guys, therefore they have to go with the guys that are like literally bottom of the barrel. <laughs> it's just like the whole thing is just fucked. Jesus, bro. God damn, bro, this dude is savage. Older guys. These are guys 15, 20 years older than you. Damn, 15, 20 years, bro? God damn, bro. Leonardo DiCaprio's out here, bro. Damn, 15, 20 years? Most people have an age gap of about five years, okay? Give or take a year somewhere. It, five years is okay. Like you're, you're not going to have that many complications. Odds are you're probably in the same generation. You have communication points. You could talk about stuff. Uh, usually women tend to date a little bit older than them, and women tend to date a little bit lower than them, which is fine. Um, that's probably okay. 15 years is a whole ass 10 years on top of that. And 20 years is a 15 years on top of that. I guess if you're okay with dating a dude that's a little bit older, I mean, that's not a little bit. If you're okay with dating a guy that's maybe like double your age, that could be okay. But what the fuck are you guys going to be talking about? That's going to be a lot of like miscommunication. That guy grew up in a completely different generation, but okay. I'm willing to listen. I mean, I, is this guy's a dating coach. Are we sure about that? Right. Why? For them, size equals youth and vitality. <laughs> um, I thought youth equaled youth. I didn't know that size equaled youth. And there, I well, so you're telling me obesity is vitality? Do you even know what that is? Are you are you sure you are, you youth? And, hold on, hold on. The, o obesity and vitality are not synonymous. Those two things are not equal bro but i'm willing to listen that but that that doesn't make any sense to me go ahead bro focus on the whole woman and they're gonna really want to get to know all of you and not just be hyper focused on one thing or not e these are too general for me dude these are way too fucking general here's some really good dating advice okay if you want to find somebody to be with and you're a woman and this could work for men too make yourself as physically attractive as humanly possible uh and after you do that and you could be doing that as a progression okay Go on dating apps, post good pictures of yourself. Don't post pictures of yourself from like two or three years ago, five years ago. Don't do that. Um, leave the about me very ambiguous, just something funny, something nice, okay? We'll find out about that stuff when we go on a date. Um, and, and really open up the amount of men that are going to be trying to get to your dating pool, okay? It's not going to be that hard. I've talked to women before that have told me that they've gotten like thousands of likes within a week of being on dating apps. So you're going to have a lot of a lot to pick from. But you also got to understand a lot of these guys are just in it to smell vagina. Uh, you have to be there to discern whether or not this guy is worth your time or not worth your time. Usually that means you're going to have to spend a few dates. Getting to know that individual shouldn't be that big of a deal, though. Most guys are willing to pay for the first couple dates. Um, and even if they're not willing to do that, maybe you can just go talk to a guy for a few minutes on the phone or maybe go to a coffee shop or walk around the park, which is great. You could do that. Get to know somebody and stuff like that. But what you should be doing is instead of putting yourself in a very niche category, which is what obesity is, 
you should be opening up the bracket as much as you possibly can to have as many people as as possible that are going to be attracted to you. It's a little different for guys because guys, physically speaking, are busted. So uh, most women are willing to forgive if a guy looks a little bit <gasps> if he has other things going for him. So there is a little bit different, but for women specifically, you're going to have to outline the physical shape as much as you possibly can, especially if you're applying to men, because most men are looking for a physically attractive woman. It sucks a lot of dick to say that, but it's not to say that you don't have the secondary traits that are attractive as well. But for women specifically, for dating men, men are looking for a very attractive woman. It is what it is. Okay. If you're pretty, you have, everybody knows this. If you're pretty, you're going to be like two or three steps ahead of most people. That's just what it is. Okay. I know it sucks, but it is what it is. There, okay, another set of guys that I want you to focus on. He's not giving any nuance to the reason why these guys are saying that. He's just saying, look for look for these guys, look for black guys, look for these guys for no other reasons than just do that. Guys, oh, I guess because they're poor. They're like half your size. Why? Because one, they're checking for you. And I know a lot of you are like, I don't want to get with a smaller guy because- So wait, big guys, bodybuilder guys, and small guys? Why not just say all guys then? Like, okay, whatever. Most guys are going to be smaller than most women that are obese. It's going to make me feel like I'm that much bigger. No, girl, take up all that space, and he's going to want you to. And my litmus test for these guys is if he can pick you up, he can be your guy, okay? If a guy's half your weight and he's picking you up, are you like breaking his back while he's doing it? How fat are you, bro? Like, what are you talking about? If he could pick you up, then it's good? What kind of st what? And by the way, those short kings, they're packing. What do you mean short kings? I thought we were talking about guys half your size. I thought we were talking about weight. What? Okay. I mean, sure, they're packing. What are you talking about, bro? Short dudes got big meat? Maybe. I mean, I, I don't think necessarily has anything to do with the height, though. I... I've met a lot of I've met a lot of dudes that are above six foot with some big schlongs, bro. Um, it's not like I'm looking. It's not like you know I'm like oh no, let me just make sure really dead. You know I'm not doing that. But I know a lot of these dudes wouldn't lie about something like that. A lot of these dudes I know nowadays. A lot of dudes nowadays I know personally. I'm not friends with any dudes that got eight inches or lower. I mean it's just a, it's just a strategy for me. I'm only ever around big meated men because it's just the, the energy I emanate. It, it's just like what I bring out into the world. I mean myself personally, eight inches is small, but uh, for most guys, it's so let me stop, okay? But just because a guy is uh, short necessarily doesn't mean he's big meated. And is that really a necessary reason to date a dude? Just because a guy is big meated or he's got some extra extra capacity on the meat, he put a couple extra skill points in that. Is that is that a really good reason to date a man? Is that like a, oh yeah, you're so great that big meated men? I mean, look, dude. So now, so let me. So I got to date impoverished black men. <laughs> Because they're black, apparently. And because they're black, they're going to have BBC. And you got to date them below a certain height. So I'm guessing like five, six. That's going to increase the meat size by an additional 20%. So it, we're looking at some big, we're looking at some big like African water snake looking shit. What are you doing? What are we talking about right now, bro? Hmm? What are, is this really a dating video right now? Or are you just trying to tell us about all the men you've been looking at? What are we doing? Huh? What, how is this going to help anybody? If we're, if we're being honest, bro. You're literally encouraging women to date impoverished black men because you think all black men are impoverished and they because they got big penises? Okay, bro. That's fine, man. Whatever you gotta say, bro. Whatever, man. Unfortunately, those bodybuilder guys, they're not packing. How do you know that? What are you talking about, man? Why? Why are these big bodybuilder men not packing? Do you think that the, the testosterone, the synthesized testosterone is making their meat small? That's That's a myth. That's not how that works, okay? It'll make their nut sacks small because their nut sacks don't have to produce testosterone anymore. But nobody really ever cares about the nut sack. There's only been a few times in my life where I met a girl that was like, oh, so how big is it? And I was like, yeah, it's pretty big. And then, you know, I was like, it's, 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 you know, this inches. No, 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 no. The nuts. Who's measuring nuts? What are you talking like? What do I got to get a tape measure and just like give you the circumference? What are you talking about? Nobody's doing that shit. It's only, it's very niche, okay? Uh, most women don't care about nutsack. I feel like it probably might be better to just have straight meat and not even have the nutsack, to be honest, because nutsacks are really weird. They move around. They do stuff sometimes. I don't understand it. But I don't necessarily think that because a guy is a bodybuilder or goes to the gym, they have a small, they have a small meat. And I also don't think necessarily if a guy is short, he has a big meat. He might have a big meat in correlation to the rest of his body. Like if you were five foot two and you even had a six incher, you probably are looking pretty big down there. But in all things considered, that's not that's an average size penis. He's just rocking with a smaller sized human being.
right? So like maybe the around the around the the meat is probably makes it look bigger. Like if you were a twink, but um nah, like you know for instance like Shaq Shaquille O'Neal had like an let's just say like an even a big penis. Let's say like ten inches, right? If Shaquille O'Neal walked in with a big slapper on the side of his legs, 10 inches, that's small as fuck if you looked at him. But naturally, that's a big, meaty anaconda shit, right? But it's not, like, in comparison to him. But it is, but it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe be, be, around it, but, like, so the fuck what, bro? We really shitting on a lot of men today, I guess. Kings, they're packing. Unfortunately, those bodybuilder guys, they're not packing, okay? So check for those check for those guys that are half your size. But half your size, double to meat. No shade. And then the number one guy. Now this is the guy when I when when one of my clients goes to him, I know, girl, this is your guy. This Albinos? It's your boyfriend, no shade. Tall, lanky gamers. Girl. Don't don't do that, bro. I'm not tall. I'm not that tall. I tell people I'm five ten. You know what it is, bro. We all add a couple inches on our height. I would never add a couple inches on my meat though, because I don't need to. But nah. And nah. Nah, bro. Uh, first of all, tall, lanky gamers. If a guy's a gamer, depending on what you mean by gamer, a lot of these guys are not taking care of themselves properly. You just, like, go for guys that just don't take care of themselves, I guess. Like, guys that don't have their shit together. Guys don't even know how to do laundry. Guys that have literally been wearing the same clothes for, like, days straight. Yeah, I guess you go for those guys, man. I don't know, man. Whatever. Girl, if you see that guy, run to him, girl. Snatch him up immediately. Why? They live for y'all, okay? So... Go to those renaissance because they don't take care of themselves therefore they're not going to take care of you like they, they have no incentive to take care of themselves and they're going to look at you like oh my god so perfect because i actually have a girlfriend probably because they've never put time into like developing themselves outside of the i don't know league of legends whatever it's called like the the ranking system i don't fucking know whatever dude. spares go to gamestop go to best spot first never in your life will you ever say somebody say go to gamestop uh, nobody goes into gamestops before the, besides like the homeless guy that's trying to solicit the dudes behind the counter like this no, is no nobody's nobody's going to gamestops bro what, what year are you from bro 2010 gamestop ain't been popping since 2010 let's be honest here for a second okay uh nah I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna keep it a straight buck with you guys. Don't go for those dudes, bro. It's fine if you do want to go for a gamer, but that's not necessarily because they're a gamer, okay? Um, I think what he's referring to here is like if he's a gamer and he's tall and he's lanky or whatever, uh, he probably doesn't take care of himself. Do you want to go with the guy that doesn't take care of himself? Do you want to go with the guy that's uh, black and impoverished? Do you want to go for a bodybuilder guy that's gonna spend no time on you? Like all these guys are literally dudes that are just not gonna probably contribute to the relationship in any particular way. Um, they're all gonna be lacking something, and it's okay necessarily. To not get everything in a relationship is fine. Like, if a guy is, like, taxed for time because he's working a lot, fine. If a guy is emotionally detached because he's playing video games, fine. If you're willing to accept these things, it's okay. But for most women, they're not going to be okay with the guy that's gaming all day. They're not going to be okay with the guy that's fucking working 24-7. They're not going to be okay with a guy that's in the gym consistently uh, working out, never, like, have time with them. They're not going to be okay with a guy that doesn't have a job. <laughs> you know, not making any money. That shit's, like, really, really not very good. And he's only dating you because he thought that you had money yourself. You could take care of him, mommy figures and stuff like that. It's not attractive for most women, dude. I go to play Dungeons & Dragons, girl, go on Twitch. I don't care. This guy is giving bad information. This is, like, really, really bad. 15 years dating coach? I would love to know what his... I would love to know what his ratio was in terms of like people that matched and stay together. Get your tall, lanky gamer. And no shade, they're packing. And no shade. Why are they packing, bro? Why? How? Dude, you can't just be saying they're packing. How do you know that? How do you know they got big meats? Where would you have some kind of like inside information on the, the 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 tall lanky gamer guys? They got the big meaties. How? How do you know that? Where where's the? Where, is there some kind of like statistic somewhere that you're referring to? B number of hours game versus number of inches on schmeet. Where the fuck are you finding this shit, bro? How do you know that bodybuilders don't got big schmeeties? What? Are you, all right, man. Whatever, bro. You're just saying shit at this point, dude. Shut the fuck up. None of this shit is actually valid information. Hey, girl. But if they can play a game all night long and all day long, they got that stamina. Bro, there's a bit. Hold up now, bro. Let's be honest here for a second. There's a big difference between a dude sitting in a chair for 19 hours a day and then falling asleep as the Uber Eats delivery order shuffles into his mouth than a guy that can actually lay down pipe for like even 30 minutes. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? That guy's malnourished. This guy's been, he's probably sitting there in his chair, high blood pressure as fuck, okay? He's been eating the same shit, hot pockets for days, and you think he's gonna lay it down in the bed just because he got big meat? Nah, 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 no way. What are you talking about, bro? That guy's gonna give up in five minutes, bro. He's gonna lay it down, 
and then he's going to be concerned about his League of Legends rank. Oh, no. I think my base is being raided in an Ark Survival Evolved. I can't lay down pipe right now because my friend told me I got to get on because some guy just told me that my base is getting raided. What are you talking about, bro? That's not, that's not the case, man. I don't give a fuck if a guy got big meat. What are you like? What, is this really a metric that we use, bro? This is okay. This would be the equivalent if a guy was like, yo, bro, trust me on this, bro. Date Latinas, bro. They got that wet shit, dude. They got that crazy, crazy macaroni and cheese, hot pocket stature. Puss, dog. You got to be in on that. Okay, it's great if your vagina is well lubricated. Awesome. But is that really a determining factor to finalize a, a relationship with that person? I don't think it should be. In the same way that if a guy had, I don't know, 10 inches or above, is that really a metric that we use to judge whether or not it's a good a, a person is a good compatible person with you? Oh, he got big meat. That's all that really matters. I guess. I guess. And you know what I mean. Just terrible, terrible advice here. Okay. So with that said, I will tell you this. Don't go for the guys that are also bigger. Why? Because a lot of them will project their fat phobia onto you Crazy. and it can get really abusive. And Probably because you can't have sex with those people, right? It doesn't necessarily feel good. The so you think the thinner people are not projecting their fat phobia, huh? You don't think that's happening? You think the fat people are doing it? Okay, that's interesting. The other guys that might be checking for you that I want you to avoid are married guys. You don't say. And I've said, in, any guy from the Caribbean, they're gonna live for you, but girl, they're dangerous. Voodoo? Is it like the voodoo shit? Is it the... <laughs> it's, okay, bro. Okay, man. They're like, Don't go for Rastafanian dudes because they might choke you with their giant dreadlocks. <laughs> like, I don't know. What do you mean they're fucking dangerous, bro? Okay. Uh, man, uh, who is this guy, bro? Are we sure this guy's not racist? Just because he's gay doesn't mean he can't be racist. You know that, right? Just because he's black and gay doesn't mean he can't be racist. All right, man. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It's something in the water, girl. I can't tell you. Uh, it's probably the amoebas and shit like that because they don't have any fucking... They don't have any water system over there because they're con consecutively taking over and over and over again earthquakes through the fucking roof what are we talking about right now dude what are you what are you saying like a guy's from haiti therefore he's not gonna be able to lay down the pipe you don't got big meat i don't know like i saw a video of a haitian guy eating a leg one time so like don't don't date haitian guys what the fuck are you talking about bro <laughs> what girl also the military guys some name right up here yo okay bro we're saying a lot of shit right now bro and it's all fucked up are we look i'm very judgmental of a person this is crazy is it what's wrong with military dudes, bro? What you toss a stable job, okay? You're gonna be in there for a long time. Usually, these dudes signing up for four to eight years, maybe even longer, and good stable income. Okay, bro. All right, man. You're fine, dude. All right. I don't know what was wrong with them up here. Not all dudes are going to fucking Afghanistan and suffering from PTSD. We're not even in a war right now, bro. Maybe things have changed when the time I make this fucking video, but. Nah, bro, we're pretty good now. Like, military dudes are, you know, like, uh, okay, bro, whatever, man. They're gonna think of you as the enemy. <laughs> Maybe in some role play, right? Like, man, I really want you to dress up as, like, the Taliban. I want you to put on this fake beard, and I'm about to beat that, that fucking Osama bin Laden pussy up. What are you talking about, man? What are we saying? What are, what are you talking about? What is this shit you're talking about, man? Okay. I hope this is helpful for you. Let me know if there are other guys that are checking for you that have been in your dating history. And if you need any help dating, I would love to help you. Just book a call with me. Don't book a call with that guy. Though That was all bad information. I almost can't even believe you said half of that shit. I interpreted this comment as do big people have standards and they- Okay, so question. Do big girls date big guys? Cause y'all know that y'all know they want you or y'all don't prefer big guys are y'all being too picky i do um both big men and both big women hell people that even like big people have different types of big people that they like so yes everybody has standards everyone is picky um did you assume that we weren't did you assume that we just got with whoever and even on the big boy tip i don't know a lot of big women with other bigger men actually a lot of big women i know there was smaller men so well that's because majority of the bigger like okay let's can we just be honest here for a second that <sighs> most big men are not going to be able to date in general because they're fatter um the same thing for bigger women it's very hard to date men i guess maybe these down bad dudes are picking up whatever they can get i don't fucking know bro like what, what I, don't, I don't even understand you're not even answering the question like how come you guys don't date big guys why is that that's the question why don't you date bigger men?
that should be the, the answer to your question. Uh, nobody gives a fuck that you don't have, you have standards or whatever. Everybody has standards, obviously. But, like, what are you talking about? Like, what does this have to do with you dating bigger guys? Why don't you date bigger guys? Is it the incompatibility of sex? Is it because you guys are eating too much food and it's not sustainable in the house? Is it because the furniture is not going to be able to accompany two people rather than just one person? How does it work? Please, just answer that question. And even big men, they be liking little women. Like, a lot of little women like big men. What do you mean um, little women? Yeah. Ignore this, guys. I've just finished washing my hair. So there, I sure hope that's silk. There is something that I've been wanting to talk about for a while, and I don't think it's spoken about enough within the plus size community as it pertains to relationships. And once you have found your person who finally loves and accepts you for who you are. Which is not necessarily a good thing, by the way. If you're a plus size or you're, you're obese and you're dating somebody that finally accepts you exactly the way you are and doesn't want to change you, that's probably not a good thing because that person is not in the business of talking about anything realistic. They probably don't want to talk about it because they know that if they do, it's probably going to lead to an argument or some kind of conflict in the relationship or whatever. And that might end the relationship. A lot of people just want to coast. A lot of people just don't want to like go too far, do too much or whatever, which could be fine. Uh, but when it comes to weight, it's a detriment. It's a detriment. Now, I'm somebody that I I have been very vocal about my dating fails on this internet. I have written countless articles and blog posts and spoken about how difficult it has been to date as a fat person. Um, I've been in a relationship now for two years and it's not something I talk about often because I always said if I was to ever get into a relationship, just generally, I wouldn't really be broadcasting it online all the time. Like I agree. It's probably a bad idea to talk about your relationships online. It's just never a good thing. Showing him all the time, talking about it all the time. However, there is something... I think I would be okay to talk about this because I think it affects a lot of other fat women. And that thing is... What happens after the happily ever after? What happens when after years of being made to feel terrible, of years of being harassed, abused, um, uh, fetishized, ignored, when you do find that person who loves you for you and all of the great stuff, what happens to us inside? I think that diabetes probably, no, stop, let me stop, okay? All the stuff that she listed um, is probably still happening with a guy that's enabling you to stay at that size. So, like, if we're talking about fetishizing, he probably doesn't care enough about you in order to change you in any significant way. Same thing with all the other stuff. Like, what you're basically saying is, like, instead of dating guys that are going to talk shit, instead of dating guys that have standards, instead of dating guys that are going to tell you the truth, instead of dating guys that are going to fetishize you, that want you for your body, instead of all that, you're dating a guy that is going to fetishize you, that doesn't care about your body. <laughs> like... It's not good either way. So you should probably just get into a healthier body size in order to find somebody to be with because like in both scenarios, it's not good. If you find somebody that's just enabling you and doesn't care about the size that you are, that's not good. That's terrible. What I mean by this is taking myself, for example, I have gone through some really shitty dating slash relationship issues that have left my self-esteem in bits. And even years after, after these situations have ended, it's still taking me so much time and therapy to get over the things that have happened to me. I have had people um, be very abusive. I have had people uh, walk away from me when I meet up with them on the date. <laughs> Damn, that's tough as hell, bro. I wish I could do that, man. Sometimes I just don't feel like doing it because I know it will be bad. But a lot of times when you get catfish, you look at that person like, dude, why, you know, when was that picture taken? Like five years ago, bro? Jesus Christ, man. You don't look like anything that you look like right now. You literally have crow's feet. You said you're 32? Yeah, it's tough, man. It's tough, man. Uh, but that's that's pretty damn, bro. They just saw you and was like, I can't do that. Just walk away. I mean, it is what it is. I have had people talk about me while on the date via social media. Not <laughs> tweeting. Can you imagine just tweeting out? Oh man, it sucks. I'm out with a fat bitch again. She lied to me. She said she was small. She said she was small. The profile pictures looked like different. Um, bitch big, bitch big, man. Knowing that I can see their tweets, I have had people <laughs> sleep with me in exchange for a dare slash. Damn. <laughs> That's some 90s rom-com shit right there, dude. Sleep with you on a dare? Okay. Why are you giving it out to a guy, first of all? Eh, maybe she was younger. Maybe she was younger. Money, aka known as Pull a Pig. I have been dehumanized, 
fetishized, all of the things that you can imagine. And a lot of other fat women go through this. When you go through these kinds of experiences, it leaves your heart in shards, your sense of why don't you just like lose weight then if this is like been issues for you consistently at least when you lose weight you won't have to deal with like people having sex with you on dares right at least i hope not at least not for the same sense at least you won't be fetishized for your weight right i don't know man it's just like these people complain about the shit so consistently i'm always thinking like dude just fucking lose weight stop being fat self-esteem confidence and of course they say like oh but i shouldn't have to change why not like why the fuck not if you're if you're getting the same results over and over and over again and the only thing that's maintained was your size Maybe you should lose weight, probably, right? Is completely gone. So then when you get into a relationship that is healthy... I wouldn't say it's healthy. If a person is literally enabling you to stay in that over overweight, obese body, I would not say that's healthy, but go ahead. You get into a relationship where for the first time in your life, you are being treated and seen as a human being. How... Like, somebody needs to tell me... How do you open up your heart to receive love again after you have been denied it for so long? How are we able to stop the small voice in our head saying, what's the catch? Oh, this person is just going to be in our lives until they get what they want. Does this person really love me? Does this person really find me attractive? How can I trust this person? How can I be open? and honest not honest but how can i be open and vulnerable and share with this person you're insecure don't know what for you're turning heads when you walk through the door i don't like it i don't want to be with somebody that doesn't know their value i like people that are confident i don't want to be with somebody that's consistently questioning whether or not i really like them or not or whatever dude and you know what it's probably valid though because if you're dating somebody that has no problem with you being plus size or obese and they are not talking to you about the issues that are probably really, really valid to talk about, then yeah, it makes a lot of sense that you would be having these questions. Like, why isn't this guy telling me to lose weight? I'm literally dying of obesity right now. Like, I can't even get up off the couch in a timely manner. Like, I fell on the floor three days ago and I stayed there for like a day and a half before my boyfriend came home and helped me up off the floor. Like, yeah, these are probably really valid reasons, but he's not addressing them with you. So you're literally finding these problems to be problems, which just makes sense, yeah. Because after years of going through unimaginable trauma and pain at the hands of fat phobic people when it comes to dating my heart is buried underneath diamonds and platinum Adamantium. and concrete and it's just like how do you find the strength to open up and be vulnerable and learn how to love and more importantly learn how to accept that love orally maybe i don't know what she means by accept love i have no idea what she's even talking about here like finding a guy that's fine with your body is good if you're in a healthy body size it shouldn't be a problem at all I don't know, bro. I haven't been through these experiences before. I've never had a dude dismiss me. I've, I've been fetishized a few times. I've had this one woman that told me that she wants me to put my foot in her vagina like a new balance. I mean, sure, but then again, it's not necessarily anything about me. So it's like every guy has a foot, you know what I'm saying? So like if you were fetishizing me for my foot, it's not necessarily because, you know, everybody has feet. Like I'm not specific on that one. But I, I, I mean, I can't really relate to this. Maybe let me know down below what you guys think. Because for me, that's something I struggle with my whole life. I have wanted to be loved. I have wanted to be seen. I have wanted to be respected. I have yearned and ached for romantic love. And now that it's here, oh, now that it's here, I don't know how to deal with it. Maybe talk to your boyfriend about it, dude. I don't know, man. This seems like not a conversation you should have on the internet and maybe have this. It sounds like you're very deeply insecure. Like you don't know, you don't understand your own value and you have to actually address this stuff with your partner, the person that you're with, not the internet. Why do you think the internet's going to have anything valid to say at all, dude? The, the comment section can be beneficial sometimes, but most people that are seeing this video are probably going to say some really, really demoralizing shit to you. So like, you already feel like shit to yourself. Why do you think the comment section is going to be any nicer? What? Dude, talk to your boyfriend about this. Don't post on the internet. You literally started this off by saying, oh, I probably shouldn't be saying this. And you know what? I've always said that I wouldn't say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. And then you proceeded to say something that was absolutely incredibly crazy. Talk to your boyfriend about this. It's very, I find it difficult. And 
this is all things that I have discussed with my partner. So yeah. if he comes across this, he's not going to be like, why are you chatting about it? So you haven't come to like any understanding about it? Like there was no – talking can be very beneficial, Um, just talking in general. A lot of people like to vent. A lot of people like to have the ability to have somebody in their life they could just say stuff to. And that's good. That's awesome. I vent too. I vent about Dragon Ball. I vent about Yu-Gi-Oh. I vent about Star Wars. I vent about a whole bunch of stuff, right? But – uh, and I'm not trying to get anywhere. I'm just trying to vent. I'm just trying to talk to you about something. And a lot of times, um, especially in these particular conversations, there should be an end goal. There should be a solution involved. Not all the time. Sel seldom will that occur. But you should be trying to find a solution. I don't think if you had this conversation with your boyfriend and it got nowhere, I don't think the next course of action was to have this conversation on the internet. I just don't think that was the right move. Maybe take this to somebody else, a therapist, a dating counselor, um, a marriage counselor, or whatever the fuck. Maybe a friend's family, not the internet. The internet's not the right place for this. It's fine. But it's like the thing that we have been yearning for for so long, when it comes into our clutches, how do we repair our hearts in order to receive the love that we've wanted for so long? So I'm interested to hear people's responses. You're probably going to get random responses like, yeah, suck them off. Put your mouth on his meat. Hey, hey, shorty, what you got underneath your hair? Is it vagina? Do you have, what is that underneath your hair? Are you, you're black, so is it a gun? There's going to be people that are going to say a whole bunch of really, really terrible stuff here. Um, it's just the internet, dude. I don't think there's any reason to be posting this video. This sounds like she just set herself up for failure, to be honest. I really, really, really want to hear what you guys think, whether you stitch this or whether you reply below, because... You know, therapy is great and talking is great, but also hearing other people's experiences, I value so much. So please respond below if you are a fat babe, if you are somebody that has been exposed to an unprecedented level of trauma and terrible situations in dating because of how you look in whatever way you show up, um, please let me know what, what it's like to be able to kind of open your heart again um, when you know that there could be a potential that you could get hurt. I think that if you're in a relationship with somebody and they don't encourage you to make proper decisions, then that's probably not a good relationship. Don't get me wrong. If you're in a relationship, you guys are coasting. You guys are doing good stuff together. It's fine. Not everything needs to be a harsh conversation. But if you have an issue, like for instance, if you had a boyfriend or a girlfriend that was drug addicted, would you not bring that up as an issue? Would you not tell that person that they have a problem? Would you not try to convince them to get off that drug? Obviously you would, right? Because you know that that drug is going to be detrimental. Same thing could be said here for the obesity. If you're dating somebody and they're, not, they're refusing to talk to you about the obesity or the problems that you're having with your weight, then probably not a good relationship in my opinion. It's just, it just sounds like it's bad overall, but I could be wrong. Let me know what you guys think down below about that. I'm very interested in what you have to say. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. I'd appreciate if everybody could like the video, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff, I would appreciate you tremendously as well. I love you. I care for you. If you watch the video in its entirety and, or you're here uh, right now, I don't know how you got here. Magic. But if you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in eyebrow because I was looking at yours the other day and I decided that they were beautiful and amazing and fantastic in so many different ways. I think personally, we should be modeling our eyebrows based off your eyebrows because they're already the physical embodiment of perfection. They're beautiful. They're coarse. They're thick. They have a lot of dimension to them. They're very, very suitable for everybody's face. And I think that yours, it should just be the model that we use, to be honest. I think we should sacrifice them to yield better crop because that's how delightful they are. That's how amazing they are. They're so beautiful, just like you. You're so amazing. You're so, so spectacular. I love the way you put keys inside of locks and you open them up and your door opens for you. I love the way you do that. It's amazing. I really do love that. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. If you want to check out my socials, they'll be listed down below. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Peace.